that time, when Yahweh God made earth and heaven, there was as yet no wild bush on the earth, nor had any wild plant that sprang up. For Yahweh God had not sent rain in the earth, nor was there any man to till the soil. Instead, water flowed out of the ground and watered all the surface of the soil. Yahweh God shaped man from the soil of the ground and blew the breath of life into his nostrils. And man became a living being. Yahweh God planted a garden in Eden, which is in the east, and there he took the man he had fashioned. From the soil, Yahweh God caused to grow every kind of tree, enticing to look at and good to eat. In the tree of life in the middle of the garden, in the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. A river flowed from Eden to water the garden, and from there it divided to make four streams. The first is named the Pishon, and this winds all through the land of Havilah, where there is gold. The gold of this country is pure. Bedillium and Cornelian stone are found there. The second river is named the Gihon, and this winds all through the land of Cush. The third is the name the Tigris, and this flows to the east of Ashur. The fourth river is the Euphrates. Yahweh God took the man and settled him in the Garden of Eden to cultivate and take care of it. Then Yahweh God gave the man this command, You are free to eat of all the trees in the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you are not to eat. For the day you eat of that, you are doomed to die. Yahweh God said, it is not right that the man should be alone. I shall make him a helper. So from the soil, Yahweh God fashioned all the wild animals and all the birds of heaven. These he brought to the man to see what he would call them. Each one was to bear the name the man would give it. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of heaven, and all the wild animals. But no helper suitable for the man was found for him. Then Yahweh God made the man fall into a deep sleep. And while he was asleep, he took one of his ribs and closed the flesh up again and forthwith. Yahweh God fashioned the rib he had taken from the man into a woman and brought her to the man. And the man said, This one at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She is to be called woman, because she was taken from man. This is why a man leaves his father and mother and becomes attached to his wife, and they become one flesh. Now both of them were naked, the man and his wife, but they felt no shame before each other.